Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. That's that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want to join the tier membership, become a Fire Storm Nation, hit that join button. There's three tiers to choose from. So, guys, today I want to talk more about this Gina Carano situation because she now is talking about her removal from the Mandalorian. She responds from her firing, I don't know why I put that in quotations because she did get fired. It's not, it's not a quote, like it's, she actually did get fired. But um, yeah, so a lot of stuff's been going on since her firing, and Gina Carano has come out in interviews and kind of gave her response on how she felt about being fired. And she says in the interviews that straight up, it felt for months like Disney was targeting her. Disney slash Lucasfilm, however you want to do it. I don't know who did the firing here. Was it Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm behind it? Or was it like a James Gunn situation where Kevin Feige had no idea and Disney just came in and Alan Horn just fired James Gunn over his tweet? I think Disney is so focused on good PR that they get these knee-jerk reactions and they're like, we got to cut bait with these people. And Gina Carano kind of talks about how, you know, they're very hypocritical over there where they want to try to preach one thing. But if you have a voice that feels opposite of what they believe, they automatically want to get you out the door. And she talks about in this interview that she felt like she had a target on her back. Like she felt like Disney was targeting her for months before they let her go. Now, this article right here comes from Deadline, and Carano comes out and just kind of speaks up a little bit about how, you know, earlier last year, on before The Mandalorian came out, they asked her to kind of do, like, a, a an apology for using pronoun usage. And they actually provided her the... The apology, she's like, no, I'm, I'm going to do it myself. And then she made the apology and, and then kind of like put her like on, on the map with Disney. And then again, not too long after, she was fired by Lucasfilm that we all found out a couple of weeks ago. And since then, Gina Carano has been really trending high. Like this is really getting noticed by a lot of people because it's really kind of showing Disney their true color. I had the same problem with Disney when it came to the James Gunn situation. You know, it's like, I understand you're trying to do, like, damage control whatnot, but you're going to fire a guy for tweets from 10 years ago, which you already knew he made when you hired him in the first place. Gina Carano, whatever her politics side is, whatever view she has in politics, that is for her. As long as it's not bothering her performance or disrupting the workplace. The problem is people take politics and, and all these different things that goes on like in the SJW world now, the social justice world, I'll say. the 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 It's weird, man. It's weird. It's like if you have any beliefs that are different than those of others, you automatically get shamed in Hollywood and then you are fired. And it's sad because Gina Carano was a character – that I loved in The Mandalorian. I was not a big fan of her prior to The Mandalorian, but I really ended up liking her in The Mandalorian, and I was really hoping that she was going to headline the new uh, Rangers of the Republic series. And now with them firing her over this, personally, I don't think she should get fired. But you know what? I say that, and I guarantee you there's dozens of you, if not more, who are watching this video going, oh, no, she should have got fired. See, that's the difference. This is my beliefs. That is your beliefs. And instead of us just agreeing, okay, we have two different beliefs, no. Another group is going to sit there and shame and throw stones and tar and feather you rather than go, well, that's their perfect personal belief what if i say i believe in jesus christ and you and you're an atheist right i'm not gonna sit there and and stone you for being an atheist i'm like okay well i don't necessarily believe in your beliefs but we'll go our own separate ways maybe you support a certain president that i don't support again i don't understand why people have to get their personal beliefs in the way of business and it feels like Disney is the corporation where if you don't believe what we're saying, if you're not on the far, far left, if you're not sitting here and you're you're doing this, you're doing that, then we don't want nothing to do with you. And it kind of sounds like a very shitty company, especially from a company that went out of their way and made so many racist cartoons back in the day that now they're ashamed of and are trying to hide it underneath the rug. Yes, Disney did that too. Should we fire Disney because Disney made mistakes too? You know, obviously Disney can't fire Disney. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, would Disney fire itself because of all the shameful things it did in this past? But yet you want to sit there and try to do the same thing for other people for just speaking out on their personal beliefs? 
it's kind of hypocritical in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. But I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Gina Carano's current situation? She is trending high up there. She's like one of the, the most popular actors being searched about right now. She's super popular. She's coming out. She's humble. She's a good person from what I've seen. And she's speaking up on her, her situation with Disney. And I think that's good. I think more people need to speak up because it seems like they're a very bad organization to work with. So anyway, guys, be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Tell me what you think. How do you feel about the Gina Carano situation? Are are you the one that support her? Are you one of the ones that think, no, she should have been let go? Or are you kind of in the middle? Leave those comments in the comment box below. Till next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion. Later, guys.